Hello and welcome to Yoga Fusion Fitness. I'm Jules. I am your resident yoga instructor here. And today I'm going to keep with the theme of desk yoga and show you and work with you a little bit more um, on how you can practice yoga right at your desk. It's a nice way to be able to take a little break, take a step back and be able to clear your mind and then get refocused in on what you're doing. It also helps to open up your your upper body. I uh, will be focusing mostly on upper body for this particular exercise. So you're going to be opening up through the upper body, opening up through the heart and chest so that you can take in a better quality of breath so that you will be um, able to get more oxygen to the brain and be able to focus your attention on what is at the task at hand. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to have you sit in your chair. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Your feet are going to be flat on the floor. You're going to root your sit bones down into the chair and then lift and lengthen the spine, energy running up and out through the crown of the head. And what's going to solidify this as a, a yoga practice and not just aimless stretching is that we're going to take a moment to set an intention. So for this particular practice, I want you to think about all the ways that you can open yourself up to opportunity. So just take a moment, let the eyes fall closed, rest the hands on the legs to help to keep a nice internal cycle going. Deep breath in, exhale out. Good. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to lengthen and stretch through the side body. So you can go ahead and take your um, right hand down by your side, take the left arm up reach up and reach over to the right. So you're lengthening and opening up to the uh, right side. We're opening up the left side here. Nice deep breath in, long exhale out. And think about reaching up and over to your possibilities. What is available to you? What is opening up to you? How can you go and reach for it? Come back to center, other side. Make sure that you keep the sit bones rooted into the chair. Lift and lengthen. Reach for your potential. Reach for your opportunities. Reach and lengthen out to your growth. Good. Both arms reach up. Lift and lengthen. Good. Take the arms out wide, cross the left arm over to the right side, take the right hand to the tricep and open up through the shoulders. Breathe into the back body. Good, open up and release the fingers behind the back. Lift the heart. We did this one yesterday. Open the arms out wide and cross your right arm over to the left. Use the right hand to hold onto the tricep. Breathe in. Long exhales out. Breathe right into that shoulder blade. Come back to center, place your hands right on your knees and on an inhale. So yesterday we did some stretching of the neck. We're going to take it a little bit further into some seated cat and cow. Hands at the knees, take a deep breath in, press the heart forward, broaden across the collar, open your heart towards your potential, towards your possibilities, towards opportunities. Allow yourself to receive. And then exhale, bring it in, fold it in, take it all in. Navel to spine, chin to chest. Doing some seated cat and cows here, bringing mobility and flexibility to the spine opening up through the front and back body. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the two. 
Inhale, heart lifts forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift the heart up. Shoulders broaden. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back to center. Take your left arm up. Bend the left elbow. You can be here. If you're not as flexible, you can just take your hand, your right hand to your left tricep. We're just going to open up the back of the arm here. If you have a little more flexibility, go ahead and take the elbow up over your head. Make sure that you keep your neck in line with your spine. So we're not pushing like this. Try to keep the head back, neck in line with the spine. Back and switch. So either going back to the bent elbow with your hand right at the tricep or grabbing the elbow and opening up. If your shoulders are tight, you might find this particular um, stretch a little bit challenging. So I would stick with this one. One more breath here. Good, and release. Last but not least, I'm going to turn to the side for this one. You can stay however you would like. I'm actually going to grab a strap. So if you have a strap or a towel, this month will be a good time for you to go grab it and then meet me right back here. Okay, strap. So for one side, you might need the strap, and for the other side, you might not. It's going to depend on your flexibility, but we're going to open up through the chest. So we're going to turn. I'm going to turn this way so that you can see. And I'm going to start with the side I know I can bind. So I'm going to take my right hand behind my back, and I'm going to take my left hand behind my back, and I'm going to reach for my fingers. And I'm going to hold here. We'll hold it for three breaths. Keep the elbow pointing up. Keep the chest lifting. And release. And now we're going to, I'm going to turn to the other side. And this is the one where I'm going to need the strap because I don't have that flexibility on the other side. And that's okay. It's just part of the journey. Eventually, I'll get there. So I'm going to take my hand, bend my elbow, grab my strap, grab. We find ways to make things that are not as strong stronger by utilizing tools that help us release the strap. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to finish up. We did the shoulder stretch. We're going to finish up with just some wrist stretches here, just rolling out the wrists, especially if you spend a lot of time at your desk at a computer. So you can just interlace your fingers and roll the shoulder, ah, shoulders, <laughs> roll your wrists back and forth. Two, and then we're going to press, you're going to take your hand and palm face up, take your fingers from the opposite hand and just gently press down. We're not yanking down here, just gently stretching out the wrist here. One, and switch to the other side. Good, and then down. And other side. And that's it. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's desk yoga practice, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.